Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is a Monday. A nice, bright, early Monday. First of all, North Carolina, right? It's bright and shining as if it's noon. It seems like at 0630 and on the weekends I can't sleep past then I mean it's bad enough sometimes I still wake up at 5 on the weekends but come on come on why is the Sun up so soon I'm confused anyway I just finished dropping Mia off at daycare this is gonna be her last day at daycare her dad is gonna be coming to get her a little later today obviously this is the start of me preparing to PCS to Fort Sam and when I say I am overwhelmed, I am very overwhelmed. I, this is the first time I have ever PCS and had to get ready to PCS completely by myself. So um, yeah, that's, it's literally stressing me out. I haven't gotten anything ready really. The only thing I've done is kind of cleaned out the garage. And honestly, I didn't even really clean it out. I just took all the furniture and stuff that I wasn't using and I set it out by the curb so it can be taken away. On top of moving, trying to deal with my emotions that my kids are leaving me. <laughs> They're leaving. Oh my gosh, this is... <clears throat> Mm. So what I'm doing right now, um, there's a list of things that I have to do and I'm going to be completely honest, I might not make it through a lot of it today. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to wear this. So I'm about to go and clean the car. I got to take a lot of the stuff out of the car so I can go and do a quick vacuum. I'm about to clean the car because I have to take it back to the dealership because I'm finally about to have my new speakers placed in and then come back and finish doing laundry because I'm in the middle of doing all Darion's laundry to pack up and everything. And yeah, yeah, this is, oh my gosh, I'm actually moving. This is crazy. I thought I was going to be here for a few years, but it is what it is that's so weird um let me just get my thoughts together because i just i'm so overwhelmed i made a list and i still don't know where to start so i'm gonna see you guys when i get my shit together <clears throat> so i decided to change i put on some leggings i have a sports bra underneath here and then just my cold weather top to be completely honest y'all i love 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 this top like this is my go-to just throw something on to have to walk to the store or whatever the case may be i'm not sure if this dealership is open because when i tap it into gps it's saying that they don't open until nine but on the internet it's saying they'd open at 7 30. so i don't even know if i'm about to just go over here and be sitting here waiting so what i'm about to do here is should i have my ipad on a charger it should be fine. Um, mm, let me just throw on the charger. The GPS is in the open at 9. Internet is in the open at 7.30. So I'm just about to go and get my hash browns and make my way over there. I thought I was going to have time to go and actually vacuum out the car and everything. But I think I'm going to do that later today. So I made it to the car dealership, but I have a lot of geese in front of my car. Look at that little one. And I just don't know how many more is in front of the car. And we don't hit geese around here. That's rude. I saw somebody hit a, a family of geese and I was depressed. I'm just not sure. Maybe, I don't, Okay, let me just sit here for a second. I don't know, I don't wanna hit the geese. Okay, yeah, they're back in front of the car again. Look at them. And those are little baby geese. Anyway, but yeah, I'm here at Flo Nissan so I can uh, meet up with my sales rep so I can get my speakers. He's gonna lead me to the place, that way I can wait with my car there. And then, yeah, get my speakers updated. Y'all, I started moving my car, right? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I think that's all of them. I think they should be out from 
in front of my car it's super dark so i'm sitting there moving my car and i'm thinking like okay they should be out from behind well in front of my car and so i started moving because i saw three of the little babies at first and then as i'm moving my car another little head pokes out and i'm like oh shit, there's four and then i'm like okay i should be good now and then another one comes and then he's on the side of my car and i'm like oh shit, there's five so i'm like <laughs> i just sat there and i'm like i don't know how many babies are out here so i'm just gonna sit here i don't want to be an evil person and hit a freaking geese but it looks like are they open oh yeah i see people in there so they look like they're open so i'm about to run in there really quick um get my sales person and yeah go get my new speakers guys there's the geeses it's one goose <laughs> geese. one two three four five babies actually six babies look at them they're so cute oh, Okay, so, okay, I am in a loner, they put me in a front here, oh frick, I can't get out this way, okay, let me turn around, see, listen here, okay, maybe, you think if I go up there, it'll just open, you know what, let me just turn around and go the other way. At least this has a lot of, s let me not speak too soon. At least this has a lot of sensors and stuff, kind of like my car, because I kid you not, if it wasn't for all the speaker, uh, speakers, if it wasn't for all the cameras and stuff that I have, I would be playing bumper cars, cause I don't really know how to drive, guys. So. But um, yeah, now that I guess I have a loner and I don't have to sit and wait for my car, I'm going to, um, I'm thinking what I want to do. I'm going to head on post. I'm trying to go slow. One, because I don't know where these geese went. And two, I'm still getting used to this car. Like the steering wheel, turning the steering wheel is way harder and all that. So, yeah. Now, and I should have turned on the GPS because I really don't even know where I'm going. So, I think I'm going to try to go back on post right you know what i got time to see if this has apple play it's maybe just maybe i'll be able to just i wouldn't have to necessarily connect my phone and it does okay yes um GPS. come on oh shoot i gotta go <laughs> that's me no way this is <laughs> this is scary this is so scary okay hold on because i hate driving vehicles that are not mine because of this exact reason so what am i looking for gps 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 So I'm about to head to Starbucks on post to sit there and I'm hoping to, I'm honestly trying to figure out what I want to do because I don't really need, what do I want to do, what do I want to do? Hmm. I didn't have anything planned so I need to take a look at my to-do list just to see what else I needed to do because I kid you not at this moment in my life I cannot operate without my to-do list so I haven't made it home yet I'm actually about to start heading home now I literally got to the Starbucks parking lot and realized I don't really want Starbucks then I'm looking at everybody and I'm trying to figure out why <laughs> why I see somebody why I see so many people in uniform and I'm like it's a work day it's Monday of course I see everybody in uniform I don't know why it felt like a Sunday which I don't I don't know where's my mind where's my brain that's really weird I dropped Mia off I should know what day it is but um yeah I just finished working on a reel I just finished working on a vlog the one that's gonna go up tomorrow it's just a little update and then 
I I just see people that I know walk into this store so I really don't want to go in there because I don't want to have to stop and talk to people right now because I'm just I'm just not in the mood so now I'm trying to figure out where I want to get food from because I want it Panda Express but now I don't because I don't want to go in there. So, what I think I'm about to do, what do I want? I'm hungry actually, it's 11 o'clock now. I still gotta hurry up home anyway and pack some stuff for Mia, cause her dad should be on the road. And this is when I get frustrated because it's like, if I don't choose the right thing, I'm just not gonna be able to eat it. To be honest, I should just go to the store and get some cereal. Cereal always does it. If I don't know what I want to eat, cereal is always the go-to. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Instead of wasting money, I'm just going to go to Food Lion and get some cereal, some freaking Fruity Pebbles. So yeah. I just picked Mia up for the last time at this daycare and they gave her some presents. Let's see what you got, boo. Go ahead. So... We got this Paw Patrol thing. You wanna hold it? Hold that, hold this book. And what is this? You got this, it says, Amia Myers is, it says awesome. And so you can draw all your pictures. Cause you like to draw. And then, <gasps> they gave you crayons to go with it, boo boo. Do you like that? <laughs> Hold this. And let's see. And they gave you a card. And it says, oh, it says, thank you for showing me your kindness. Thank you for always smiling. You will truly be missed in the class. It was a joy to get to know you and teach you. Always Miss Christine. And it says, you are unique, special, and amazing person. Always, always shine. Always strive to be the best that you can be. And then it says, enjoy staying home with your mommy. We will miss you around the classroom. So that's really sweet. That's cute, Bill. We are about to go on a daughter-daddy trip with dad. And we'll see you when you get back. Well, Darion won't see you. Darion's going with his dad. It's a little bit later. Mia's gone. I'm back at the house. I'm still in the loner truck that I have because my car is apparently not ready yet. Um, I'm sitting in the car. Darion's inside. Um, we went and ran around and did a few things, but I'm thinking... I wanna go and do a little bit more running around. The issue is I am currently attempting to do homework and I'm not into it, okay? This, I'm so I'm taking the chemistry one lab. I already took the lecture, now I'm taking the lab. And one, I don't understand what I'm doing. I started off this entire semester completely wrong and so I'm in fear that instead of having a B in the class or an A in the class like I anticipated, I forgot to turn in my first few assignments. Well, I went to sleep, I took a nap, and then I woke up the next day. That's what happened. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass this class with a with even a B, a C, right? But I'm hoping for a B, so I'm trying my hardest to focus and it's it's really hard. It's really, really, really hard. I don't know why I'm thinking about Froyo right now, but I'm wanting some Froyo. It's just an attempt to just distract myself at this point. Cause I'm really sad. Like I'm really sad. Amia is about to be gone. You know, her and Darion said their little goodbyes. She has her best friend at the daycare and it was so cute because it was nap time when we went to get her. And you know, they woke her up and everything and all the teachers said bye to her. They gave her her gift, but her friend, her best friend just so happened to be awake. He just so happened to be awake and he's just waving bye and she goes over and she gives him a hug. And I was like, I'm over here getting emotional. Me and the teachers are over here getting emotional. Darion's looking at me like I lost my mind. I'm like, this is the last time she's gonna see her friends. Like, 
I'm just, I can't wait. I can't wait until I don't have to do this. I'm telling you right now, I'm speaking into existence. I need to manifest. I need to put it out there in the atmosphere to pick up that I want to be in a nice place when I am done with AIT. That way I can stay there and not have to, not have to move around as much because this is killing me, but I am going to try to at least do my pre-lab questions. Tonight, I'll do the actual experiment. And then tomorrow morning, I'll finish with the post-lab questions before I leave out, I guess. Or maybe when I come back. I don't know. But yeah, so I am about to try to strap myself in real quick. I'm still sitting in the truck because I'm pretty sure they should be at least close to done at this point so i'm just here ready to leave but i'm about to go ahead and try to finish how many questions is this one two three like three questions and i can't get my mind to just focus in and just do it just do it like why is that so difficult for me right now i've literally been doing this for like 20 minutes and i haven't written not anything down not anything like i don't even know if you can see that but it's blank it's completely blank so yeah, let me try to do this real quick. <laughs> So I just finished with the first part of my homework assignment. As you can see, I finally have things. Can you see that? I finally have things written down here. So um, yeah, I'm done with that. Still haven't gotten a call back about my car. So now I'm about to go and grab some cereal, come back home and just chill until my car is ready and finish laundry. So today has been busy, but uneventful so far it's only three it's only three so we'll see because i'm supposed to be jogging later and i don't know if i'll have the energy but we'll see <sighs> not done yet i had to go and grab my tatties i feel like i've told y'all about these tatties before already i'm pretty sure i've talked about these i'm telling you it's the best Ooh. See, the key is you have to mix it right, right? So when they pour the milk in there, you gotta until that dark tea turns orange. That way, you know it's all the way mixed throughout. It's so good. But once it gets completely mixed, it's like super milky and just smooth. Ugh, it's so good. It's so crazy. I really wish I can recreate this. I'm going to figure it out. Hold on. There we go. It's coming. Oh. Ow. 
Is it just me? Because I'm trying to figure out how I just filled my tank up a few days ago and I'm already on less than half tank. God dang it, I let it fly in here. There we go. I'm already on less than half tank. At this point, I know for a fact they water down the gas. There's no way. There's no way that I'm keep running out of gas this quick. So on the 23rd of May, I had to fill up. I put $39 in there. And then on the 28th, I put $40 in there. <laughs> um, had to fill up again. Y'all, I kid you not, I was already running out of gas by, and it's crazy because it's not like I'm driving that much. Um, I had to fill up again on the 1st, and I put $29.31 in there. And again on the 4th and I put 36 34 in there and then on the 10th I put $16 in there because when I went to geez when I went to the dealership to get my car checked out because I'm like yo I'm using way too much gas there's no reason I'm running out of gas as often as I am because in my Buick I don't have this issue so they basically told me they were gonna have to do a mechanical um, mileage test or something like that I'm already gone like I'm already literally less than half tank why I don't know so I hope they can figure it out I know they said with the with the kicks models um, Nissan is aware of a issue but for whatever reason they didn't give my car didn't give the code that they're having the issue with specifically something with the gas tank or whatever the case may be so they have to do it mechanically to see if something's wrong all right i had to take my food and set it down i look look at me i look a freaking mess but let me show y'all the car hi did I introduce my neighborhood cat to you guys yet? This is Calico. This is the neighborhood cat. Um, he has a bunch of different names depending on the house that he's at. And yeah, we call him Calico. I heard the little girls next door calling him something else. Then these kids over here <laughs> call him something else. And we all feed him. And we just take care of him and things like that. So this is Calico. Hi, Calico. Put some water, cause it's hot out here, his food bowl. Okay, so I have a 2022 Nissan Kicks, and this is it. It's like, what is that, boulder gray? And I kinda got, it's not technically called the black package, but they kinda say it's the black package. These are the speakers, the upgraded speakers. And then I have another one over here. They, they put four in, so two in the front, two in the back. These are the old speakers that they ended up taking out. And when I say they sound so good, like I notice a difference immediately. But as far as, I guess, what would you call it, guys? Is it like a woofer or whatever? But yeah, I specifically said I didn't want anything in my cargo space. I want all this clear. So they were able to put it here. It fit perfectly in a spare tire. Tire and that's G JBL and it sounds so good. I left my key upstairs, so it's not like I can start it and show you, but yes, that's my baby. Good morning, it is the next morning, and it is the day. The day has come that I am taking Darion to his dad's. Well, we're meeting halfway, so we can go ahead and do the switch. So, yeah, we got up a little bit ago. Obviously, I'm already dressed and everything. Um, I'm not wearing anything too special, but just to show you, I have on this bodysuit. Um, I have on this bodysuit that I don't even know where I got this from. I think I got this from Burlington. I have on these jeans that i got from fashion nova i got on my what is this i got this from pandora my pandora bracelet my michael kors watch and i didn't really put on anything crazy when it comes to makeup i literally just have a mascara and some freaking aquaphor right now because i'm not trying to do anything to my skin because my skin has been breaking out like crazy and it's stressing me out 
just put these two twists in my hair as usual i really never do anything with my hair just two twists earrings that's it just super basic and plain because i have about a two and a half hour drive to the location we are meeting up at so there's that but look at this everything is a mess like in the last few days i've been washing and doing my hair i had to do amia's hair i dyed well wash treated and dyed darion's hair um, because that's what he wanted to do i am literally going through clothes and stuff like that so i have this big pile of clothes here because i'm literally separating everything so i had to separate Mia's clothes, my clothes, Darion's clothes because her clothes need to be separated so I can get ready to put it in the other car so I can take it to Iowa. His stuff needs to be separated so I can pack it today and take it to his dad's. My stuff needs to be separated because I need to start folding things and putting things away that I'm not going to have to need access to when I get to Texas. It's just a lot going on on top of doing it all by myself. And y'all, I'm also trying to figure out the whole moving thing because I'm not going to have... The military move my stuff well i don't even know i don't know how it's supposed to work because again they're not able to move my stuff until literally after i have to be after i have reported in texas so now i have to figure out what storage i'm about to put my stuff in who's going to help me move my stuff to storage who's going to be there to meet the movers and get my stuff from storage <sighs> yeah i gotta figure out that whole thing the one thing that i do need to pick up today though and i hope i hope i hope i don't forget i need to write it down is some industrial grade bags i am throwing so much shit away y'all i have so many dirty dishes i won't even lie in my kitchen and it's only because i'm not going to keep it i don't want to waste the time washing something that i'm not even going to keep so yeah I need to make sure I get those big ass bags. I have dishes to throw away. I have big comforter sets to throw away. I have like furniture and stuff, like furniture pieces and stuff like that to throw away. So I just have a lot to do. I don't think I'm going to start really doing those things um, today. The, only, the, the most I want to do today is kind of consolidate the stuff that I want to keep and put it in one location. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But other than that, I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, what's in here? Yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh, actually, no. There's still stuff. I washed some stuff at the last minute. Um, hold on. So I'll watch some stuff at the last minute because I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. Some of Mia's stuff, some of my stuff, some of Darion's stuff. So just making sure there's nothing else in here that needs to go. So just so y'all can see the situation. What do I smell? Why do I smell pee? Somebody pooped. So I already bought this. This is trash. That over there is trash. I'm pretty sure I haven't went through it yet. But um, as far as the living room goes, this is what the living room is looking like because um, it's a mixture. There's boxes of trash, bags of trash, stuff on a couch that I'm keeping, stuff that I still haven't gone through. So it's, it's, oh my gosh, it's just a process. Now, I also need to go to Lowe's because I have some blinds that obviously I have to replace. The cats were not forgiving to these blinds at all. So I need to find the ones with, um, what is it, that don't have the string, that don't have the string that you have to pull to, um, to draw it. It's the one that you, act oh, let me see. So you pull it down and then you push it up. It doesn't have the string that you pull so i need to go and find a few of those as well as some awkwardly sized ones so maybe i'll stop at lowe's as well oh yeah i'm just stop at lowe's i can pretty much i'm pretty sure i'll be able to find the industrial size bags at lowe's as well now let's see 
Who the hell? Okay. I didn't get a chance to, um, y'all, I just realized that I got my speakers updated again and I just got happy all over again. I cannot wait to turn this freaking radio on. But, uh, let me see. Why is it so bright? Hey, Calico. So, let me see. Oh, I'm in here so I can clean some of this stuff up. Um, what did I bring up? Oh, man, I hate when I... Can you, like, not stress me out right now? Thank you. The neighborhood cat is stressing me out about food. I'll get it. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so right now I'm just honestly trying to clean up just a little bit because I don't plan on cleaning this car right now. Definitely not about to happen. Darian, yeah. bring me a plastic bag and grab calico some food. Oh wait, go go put some lotion on your ankles right now. In these. I'm a mother. One of the weirdest things I was judged about was the way I talk back and forth to my kids. Like I feel like with me and my kids, I have a healthy mothering friendship balance, if that makes any sense. So when I joke and I play around with my kids, it's, I was a 17 year old pregnant teenager, okay? So I'm not all, you know, I know when, I know that I can play and I can know, I know that I can joke around. Go put lotion on your knees, go put your shoes on because it's almost time to go. Like that. First of all, I shouldn't have to explain my parenting. But secondly, um, like I was saying, me and I just know, I know when I have to parent because either you think I'm playing with you and now I need to parent or you need me right now and I need to parent or in this moment, I just need, you know what I'm saying? So when I was at the park, M Mia was climbing on things that she, I asked her not to climb on. It's the park, you can climb on anything, but the way she was climbing on it, she could get hurt. So I told her, I say, get down or you're gonna get hurt. I told her that like three different times. And you know when kids are in play mode, you can't just you can't just pull them out. So I said something like, Amia, get off that right now. You're gonna hurt yourself. I said, you're gonna fall and bust your head wide open. I'm not gonna let you hurt yourself on accident. If you want me to bust your head to the white meat, I can bust your head to the white meat. <laughs> I said that. But then she says something like, no, because then I'm going to call the caprice on you and then you're going to go to jail. She don't know how to say police. It's the cutest thing. She literally says caprice and it is the cutest thing. She goes, no, because I'm going to call the caprice on you and then you're going to go to jail. And I was like, and I'm going to call, you know, we're like we're just going back and forth, right? This black lady had the audacity to say something like, you shouldn't say stuff like that to your kids in public. Somebody can overhear you. They can call the people on you. And if they do. And if they do, how about you mind your goddamn business and stay over there? Because anybody call any people on me, what the people going to do? Come here and see that my kids are living good, happy, and healthy. Like, that that really irritated me. And it put a bad taste in my mouth. Because if anybody calls anybody, it'll be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what reason were you... Just understand I was irritated. I was very irritated. And I, I spoke to her to let her know that I was irritated. Maybe it wasn't the nicest thing in the world, but I literally, as soon as she said it, I'm not proud of this, I'm not proud of this, I'm not. But I looked over at her after she was done giving her little spiel, I looked over and I said, mind your fucking business. <laughs> like it really, it really made me upset that you you had the audacity to, to question my parenting but then try to threaten my parenting in a way as well. And I, it just didn't sit right with me and my emotions came out, so. Let me go ahead and go and get this stuff. I gotta get this big bucket and put it in a car. Actually, and finish cleaning out this stuff real quick. And I guess 
yeah I got about an hour. Hey battles, if you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Do not forget, we are on a road to 10K this year and I think we can do it. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and look at the subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and hit it and turn it gray. And I also wanted to come on and let you all know, just spill the tea on what MOS I am reclassing to. And I kind of wanted to do it this way just so I can see who's paying attention, who's really watching my videos all the way through. So. I will be reclassing from a 68 Charlie, which is an LPN, to a 68 Victor, which is a respiratory tech, guys. I am going to be a respiratory therapist. Well, if I can pass that test, but I'm going to be a respiratory therapist, a 68 Victor, and I am super excited. This is a really big opportunity for me. So there you have it. Again, don't spoil it for the ones who decided they didn't want to watch the video all the way through. So if you made it this far and you got to this message, go ahead and go in the comments and just comment the lung emoji just put the lung emoji all right back to the video I was filming a few reels for my Instagram because um, I forgot to post something today. I forgot to have something at the ready to post today. So I guess I'll be skipping a day of, hold on. So I guess I'll be skipping a day of posting on my reels. I thought about just throwing one up, but it's late. It's like 19 something. I guess it's not too late, but anyway, we'll see. I'm about to just make me some freaking ice water now. And when I say make me some ice water, I got this cup of water from Panera and I'm just about to put some lemon juice in it, a few Splendas to make some lemonade and start actually cleaning this kitchen. <music> So I don't think I even made a dent in the kitchen. Like, have you ever let a room or the house or whatever the case may be, have you ever let it get so bad where you feel like no matter how much you feel like you're cleaning, no progress is being made? Cause I feel like, okay, I kind of got these counters up here. Those are all cleared out. Well, this one right there, all the way across to here, those are cleaned out. The drawers are cleaned out. Um, I'm, I was starting at the bottom, but at this point, I don't even know where to go from here because I'm thinking the food since I will be driving out to Iowa instead of throwing it out I'm going to take it well the stuff that isn't you know that don't need to be refrigerated and I have a lot of it I'm just going to take it to Iowa but at this point I don't even know I don't even know where to go because I feel like it's just too much stuff in here so all the stuff that I'm keeping 
<laughs> all the stuff that I'm keeping, I'm thinking I want to consolidate it in one area, kind of like I was talking about. And I'm thinking that it's going to be in the garage. Mm -hmm.